Take a look at XFX's version of the 9800 GTX Plus. Probably one of the most popular video cards. This is going to become one of the more popular video cards as time progresses. This is the uh, main competitor to the 4850 right now, and it's doing an excellent job. It's actually faster than it in a bunch of benchmarks. Now, the 9800 GTX Plus, you probably already know what it is, but in case you don't, let me school you real quick. The 9800 GTX Plus is pretty much a 9800 GTX but they shrunk the die. So rather than working on the 55NM, uh, I'm sorry, the 65NM manufacturing process, now it's 55NM. So uh, what that's gonna do is it's gonna run cooler, it's gonna run more efficiently, it's gonna use less power, and it's also gonna let you overclock further, which is the really good news for you guys because uh, you don't really care too much about all that stuff, you just care about performance, right? That's the truth. Um, so let's talk about this 9800 GTX Plus and its specs because obviously since it's gonna run cooler and better and all that stuff, they're gonna give you faster factory frequencies. Uh, just like the other one, 128 shaders. So stream processors, 128. In total, that stays the same no matter what. Now, what does change is uh, shader clock. Those original ones were clocked in at 1690 megahertz. These are at 1836 megahertz for this card. Uh, so that you see that they did give you a nice little uh, increase in your shaders, which is gonna do the majority of your work. Now, on top of that, the core clock was also bumped up from 675 to 738. So that's a nice little jump too. I'm not sure what the percentage is on that, but it's decent. It's, it's there, it's something, especially when the price only went up a couple bucks. Went up like 10, 15 bucks now and it's dropping every day. Uh, it's, it's a good you know, increase for nothing. Uh, what else? Memory stayed the same. So it's 1100 megahertz and that effectively since it's double pump, that's 2200 megahertz uh, for the memory, which is GDDR3. And of course you get 512 megabytes of that GDDR3, which is really good. The memory bus stayed the same at 256 bits wide. Uh, your memory throughput though is up now to 70.4 gigabits per second. So it finally broke that 70 gigabit uh, threshold that was there before so really good performance on that now what else can I talk to you about what else is on this card well you get a whole host of stuff obviously you have dual link DVI connectors which I will show you right there zoom in on those 2560 by 1600 on those uh, they do do HDCP so you can stream your blu-rays do all that great stuff you get DirectX 10 you get shader model 4.0 full 16x anti-aliasing throughout dual link uh, DVI's are there PCI Express 2.0 HDMI certified it's all there this is a pretty nice looking card take a look at that graphics XFX is one of my favorites I gotta love F XFX uh, let me give you a quick tour while I'm already here I'm gonna switch over to this view those are your two six pin PCI Express connectors. So that's what you're gonna need. This requires a minimum 450 watt power supply, but you have uh, two six pin connectors that you're gonna need to get. Now, if you don't have those, they do provide in the box with you as usual, these little connectors, which are two four pin Molex to one PCI Express six pin. So those will be in the box. Let me show you what else comes in the box. Check out this breakaway cable. This is one of the nicer ones. It actually has a little like interface box. I mean, it's not a big deal, but it's actually nice. And what that does is it connects on this digital S video out, and this will go to your TV uh, using components. Or is that composites? Composites. Component. And component, sorry. Good job, Randy. And uh, so red, blues, and greens, that's what I call them. And this will do 1080i out to your television. This is very handy, very useful. And uh, the last thing they give you, which I like as well, is an old school little converter. So this goes from DVI to VGA, which is useful in case you have an older monitor. So very cool, lots of good stuff on here. The last thing I will show you on this card, if I can find it, is your, see that right there? That's where you put your bridge for SLI. If you run two of these, awesome. If you run three of them, even better. And if you wanted to know whether or not you can actually put these in, uh, in cross in a SLI, sorry, with an 8800 GTX, the regular one, the non plus one that's on the 65NM GPU, yes, you can. They do work. They're the same architecture. They're just, you know, the die is shrunk. So it's smaller, but everything else is the same. So you can definitely run this with your older 9800 GTX. This, the 9800 GTX will be, you know, the weakest link in the chain though, it's gonna be the slowest one that determines your overall frequency of the two cards. This one will overclock a little further. Now, you guys have probably already seen my 9800 GTX Plus reviews from other brands. XFX is one of my favorites, but uh, if you do wanna see the benchmarks on this card and you don't know what they are, which you probably already do because you guys all research your stuff before you buy it, right? You don't know email Albert. Uh, go ahead and uh, search up 9800 GTX Plus in the YouTube account and you'll see all of the benchmarks that I provided uh, for the card. They're gonna be the same for this one. All the frequencies are gonna be the same, so check that out. This thing does support physics. It does support CUDA. And the price point it's currently at makes it 
pretty perfect. It's uh, pretty much one of the best cards you can get right now. If you already have an SLI board, you don't want to spend all the money on the GX2 or on a 200 series, uh, this is going to be the number one card for you. If you have any questions, email me. I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the XFX GeForce 9800 GTX Plus video card, go to compusa.com and type in P450-9824 into the search box. Or you can always call us 24 hours a day, seven days a week at 1-800-COMPUSA. Thank you.